What's up, everybody? It's your favorite elbows, favorite nerd. I'm not going to take too much time with this. Just a quick down and dirty, no skit, no fluff, no nonsense. Just in case anybody was curious about picking this up, we're going to we're going to talk about it real quick. So, this is the elbow for dead end. This is made by a, a, a company. I don't. It might be called Shadow Fisher. I don't know. It's it's it comes in a package like this. You can also store it in the trailer of Motormaster. So it it comes that way. But it's to fill in the elbows of your fans project Minasaur. Uh, the plastic is very nice. Uh, I've actually been trying to bend it and mess with it, and um, it's holding up extremely well. It's really well-made plastic. See, I'm squeezing there. No, no stress, no nothing. Uh, we got red paint on there, and then red paint in the center, and you know some line work and so forth. And then on this one, different cast. Yellow paint got a little away from them right there. Um, you know, vents and so forth, and same same sort of thing so let's uh let's put it on the big fella and then we'll we'll see how we feel about it okay so let's do dead ends first and they just supposedly slide right up in there um let's see if we lose you don't really lose you lose a little bit just but just because of the guns here if you were to take those off you could have full articulation and it's pretty secure i like it and then with a drag strip, it just slides right up in there, so to speak. And there you go. Articulation still good. Um, this one doesn't fit as well, it seems. Hmm. I mean, it fits. I mean, once you get them posed, it'll be fine. But it's just, it's just not as smooth. And it still has, this one has much more of a gap in there than the other. So, final thoughts, uh, drag strip continues to be the problematic piece of this set. Um, the grays don't quite match. Like, this gray on here doesn't quite match anything, um, nor does this gray, really. So, that's kind of disappointing. The red is kind of close, but it doesn't quite match either. So, it's it's only 10 bucks, and I kind of got what I paid for. But I do like that it closes up the gap. And I think on a shelf, you won't be able to tell the big paint differences. It'll kind of all blend in, um, both in the red and the gray. So I think on a shelf it'll be fine. I think if you were to use this set like along with like a pile of loot or a stack type of feature, you know, from whatever online dealer you you deal with, you know, you, where you won't really it won't really affect shipping whatsoever. Ten bucks is is a decent price for getting them. The only negative thing is that um, you know at a certain point you have to ask yourself how much money do you continue to dump into it, you know, before you're you're ready to 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 call it a day. Like, uh, you know, it's, I got the figures themselves, I got the repper labels, now I got this $10 thing, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about getting the Echo TF bit. I, I have to see how that kind of looks when I see painted prototypes and all that kind of stuff. You are going to run into that, that question of just, you know, when is it enough? And I'm not sure that this does a whole lot, but I do, I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't like the look. It's just... There's a, there's a fair amount wrong with it. So, if you were on the fence about this thing, I hope that kind of helps. It's it's kind of like if you got $10, nothing to do with it, go ahead and get it because it does fill it in. The the gray won't bother you really here as much. Um, it's pretty obnoxious over there. I don't know why they didn't go with a lighter gray. I'm guessing because it's on the same sprue. Um, but fairly, fairly unfortunate there. But it's only 10 bucks. Get what you pay for. Right, fellas? And lady? Or ladies. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.